This is Caliber Zero here, and today I'm going to show you how to do a simple setup for the Virtual MIDI Piano Keyboard Program, or VMPK. Now this is um, a nice little program that um, allows you to use your keyboard essentially as a musical keyboard. <laughs> um, now th this is a little bit hard to set up, um, so I'm just going to go into a um, basic setup that you can probably use. Um, it's nothing complicated, but just something to kind of get you started so you can actually play with it. Because at first you can't really do anything with it until you have it set up first. Um, so I'm going to have, go off, no, I'm not going to go into the um, downloading process or anything like that. Um, I'm going to be more on going into the actual setting up um, once you already had the program. Now the first thing you want to do is you want to have a um, synthesizer application. Um, I tend to use QSynth. So I'll open that up. Um, as you can see here, that's what it looks like. And you want to look up VMPK and open that up. And um, the first thing you want to do is you want to go to your um, synthesizer and set it up. Um, for QSynth, go to Setup, Sound Fonts. And you want to add a sound font, so open. Um, we want to have sound, a sound font already available. Um, you can find them online. If you're not familiar with sound fonts, they're kind of just, um, they decide, like, how, um, what sound's going to come out when you play what, um, notes. Um, so I have one here. And you add the sound font, and click OK. Um, restart the engine. Then you're going to go to VMPK, go to File, Import Sound Fonts, um, Input File, uh, Go to your sound fonts, and then plug that in, click OK, go to Edit, Connections, Output MIDI Connection, and then choose your synthesizer. And as you can see, it is now working. That's basically just a simple setup you can use. Um, nothing complicated. Um, you, know, you probably want to try your own settings for different things, but um, it's just something you can do to get yourself started with it. Um, and that's about it. Um, with this, um, I have problems where I have to kind of um, redo at least the VMPK settings each time I boot it up, but I'm not sure if that's um, something you always need to do or. Um, it's just my system acting up, but um, that's pretty much it. Um, if you have any questions, um, you can leave a comment and I'll try to answer it. I'm not very familiar with this program or anything, um, but I can see if I can try to answer it or help you out with it. Um, uh, and, um, if you like this video, be sure to like it and um, subscribe to my channel if you're interested in other of my um, technology related videos. So thanks for watching and have a good day.